In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a mass in, in NASTRAN and then connect it to the model that you're currently working in. So why would we want to do this? So for example, we have a motor which is mounted to a structure that's being designed. So instead of physically modeling the mass, we can you know, create it virtually or in its most simplistic form in NASTRAN and then connect it to the structure. So I've drawn up a structure over here, so a little bit of a sheet metal um, with some tubing at the bottom here to hold it. And let's go and create some idealizations for this. So the first thing I'm going to do is go create an idealization. And I'm going to make a shell idealization. Let's make it two millimeters. And we can go add a material over here. Have some associated geometry with it. And that's my top face. And OK. Then I'm going to create another idealization. And that again will be a shell element. Let's make this 1.6 moles. And as well as S235 as the material. And then I'm going to create these over here. Uh, let's just grab that over there. And yeah, that top face over there. And the same for this component over here. Okay. So once we've done that, we'll click on OK. So what we need to do now is just put some constraints on. So I'm going to go and constrain the bottom part of this. So this will be sitting on the ground and it's not going to be going anywhere. And then I need to put some load on. And that load I want is gravity. So we're going to see that what the effects with gravity are going to be of this um, with a mass on top of this as well. So with that, you'll see the, the Y is pointing up. So we want to go negative 9810. Okay. So once that's been done, we now need to create these, this, uh, this mass that we want to put on um, the motor in essence. So if I click on the drop down arrow and idealizations, you'll see I've got concentrated mass. And what I've done is I've created a work point where I know that the center of gravity is going to be your of the uh, object. So there we go. It notifies as it's this green and gray cube. And then what I need to do is I just need to put the mass on. So um, a quarter of a ton. Okay. So now we've got the mass over here. We've got the object at the bottom. How do we connect it? So to connect it, we've got some connectors. So with the connectors, you'll see there that I've got a rod, a cable, spring, rigid body, and a bolt. So I'm going to choose the rigid body and I'm going to make sure that it is connected to those four mounting points or mounting holes over here. Once that's done, I need to make sure that it's connected to a point, which is the point I selected for my mass, and click on OK. So now we're good to go. OK, so now what we need to do is we just need to create a mesh. So I'm going to go create a mesh over here, say 25. And I'm going to put some contacts in as well. So surface to surface, that top surface, and to these, the top surface of the uh, square tubing over there. And OK. OK, so once that's done, I'm good to go to solve. So let's go run. And because this is a, uh, a surface model, it is very, very quick to run and complete this um, this simulation. And there we have it. We've got Nastran solution is complete. Let's go take a look at the results. Okay, and there we go. So you'll see there we've got our uh, von Mises stress. And at the bottom, it tells you that the, the deformed total is six millimeters. Okay, so you'll see there how it's coming through there. Yeah. Maybe I could put a bit more, you know, a bit of a finer mesh on here, just to make sure that it's not coming through that curved edge over there. Okay. So there we go. Um, that's how to create your, let's go see what the total displacement is. This is how we create a, a mass, a concentrated mass, um, and then put it onto our, um, and connect it to the 
uh, the structure that we have um, that we're going to have the, the motor sitting on. Thanks very much for watching.